good morning it's been a while since i started a vlog with my dressing gown on um but it's currently 5 09 in the morning um it is wednesday the 19th of september today and the dogs have just given them all a little treat each a little biscuit um because it's too early for their breakfast um so excuse if you can hear dogs eating treats in the background um, but I've been awake since about 20 past four. I got up for a wee and then I just let that. I actually was having a dream about babies, one of baby's birthday parties. Um, the children were quite old. I think maybe about eight years old. So way to the future here. But I was having a dream that basically one of the mums, me and Tom had gone out for something to eat and one of the mums had come over and they were with their kids. And it basically said that they weren't happy with some of the stuff that, uh, like the prizes or the party bags, so that one of the things in it, it was a Coca-Cola chupa chup. And that's not the usual thing that they give their kids, even though this kid was sat there eating a refreshers bar. Um, could he swap it for something else? And would I be in at like 10 a.m. tomorrow? Um, so I just gave a 50p and said, there you go, he can choose something himself. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I haven't vlogged in a while. I just, I felt like on the lead up to the baby shower, um, it was so chaotic, honestly. I was in like full on nesting mode. I was acting like a crazy woman. And the last thing that I basically had time for was to pick up a camera. Um, so I'm sorry that if any of you feel like you missed out on anything, um, you didn't really. We had a really lovely time. Um, I got a few pictures. Um, I've posted a couple on my Instagram and more, there's more to go up still. Um, but yeah, we just had a really nice time and then we've just been getting the house sorted and we are now ready. I'm going to town this afternoon with my sister, well this morning actually. Um, it'll probably feel like afternoon by the time I get there. To get like last minute bits. Um, but really, we're ready to be honest. Um, I've had my hair chopped. I've had a little bit more length off it. Um, so excuse, obviously I've just woken up, but um, it had got gotten to about here and it was just kind of hanging and no matter how, what I was doing to it, it was making me feel really horrible and frumpy. So I decided to get a little bit of length off. I'm gonna have some brown flakes now um, and I'll catch up with you all later. I've, I want to write a blog post this morning. It's been on my mind for a while. So I'm gonna get that done um, and yeah, I'm up so early that I might film a video before I go to town as well. I've got, she's, my sister's taking a car for its MOT at nine. So I'm meeting her at the car garage. We're gonna go for some breakfast. It'll probably be lunch by then. And um, then we're heading into town. So um, I've got quite a few hours to get stuff done this morning. Tommy is up. He's gotta go to the gym. That's another reason. When I hear his alarm go off as well, it went off at five. I'm just like, well, I might as well go up now because He's gonna go in the shower, get ready, blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna make him a coffee and uh, let's get crack a in, shall we? All the winter candles are out already. So I'm gonna light some of those and make it all cozy and uh, catch up on last night's Big Brother because I am one of those people that watched Big Brother. And I'm not gonna apologize for it. I just got ready super, super quickly. I don't know whether I mentioned today, but we've actually hit 37 weeks today, which is really exciting. Um, it feels a little bit surreal. I don't feel 100%, but then that's what reminded me to say because do you ever feel 100% when you're 37 weeks pregnant? I don't know, I've never been here before. Um, super quick outfit of the day, it's really, really casual. I'm just wearing my look, um, denim jacket that's kind of got all the tears and rips on it. Um, this H&M necklace from ages ago. This is an Ace Hospital. ASOS maternity black t-shirt. It's the only one that now still fits me. Um, next, maternity leggings. I've got on my van platform black ones. And then this bag, just to add a little something something, is the my leopard print one from Topshop. Um, I've got to run now because my sister's going to be waiting at the car garage and I'm still at home. So um, I'll see you in a little bit.
So it's 20 to 3, we've just got in. I've brought Lottie back here because she's not got a car and she's got a doctor's appointment at like quarter past four. So either way, I either need to take her for a car or to the doctor. So I just said she might as well come back to mine. Um, it is so windy today. There was, I think there was a, was it Storm Helen or Helena from another, like quite far away at the beginning of the week. But now um, there's one that's like come over from Northern Ireland way, I think. And we are on the coast, obviously. I live very close to Blackpool. It seems to have gotten so much worse as we've got home. Now, obviously we were in town and we were in kind of like a shopping center, so we didn't really see it. But um, I just got home and there's a tile that's actually blown off the roof. That just goes to show how windy it is. I've just had a couple of deliveries, so I just wanted to show you what's arrived. So this first item is from a company called Mama Owl, and this, they make the most gorgeous things, um, clothes and also like toys, like wooden toys. So I ordered this little rabbit that's like looking up for his nursery. Um, I just love it. It's gonna go on his shelves, but I'm waiting for them to come back in stock from the Great Little Trading Company. Um, so that's arrived, so that's really cheered cheered me up, made my day. And that, not that I wasn't cheered for already. And then this also arrived. So my hairdresser recommended this um, silver shampoo. I've been using the Provoke Touch of Silver for a long time. And I've also been sent some stuff recently from John Frieda, which I've, uh, no, from Lee Stafford, sorry, that I've not actually used yet. So when I've tried that one, I'll go on to this one. But she swears by this and she actually showed me her hair extensions from what they were like when she got them to after she'd used this and they were like a completely different blonde in a good way. So this is Osmo. I got mine from Just My Look. It was the cheapest. I think it was about fiver maybe not very expensive at all oh and when we walked in there was this little note on the side um saying hi Al hi alfie just had to nip home for a tip run so leaving a little note to say i love you love you tommy happy 37 weeks because i left him a note last night um he was home later and i'd got into bed um and i was well i was asleep when he got in and I left him like a little note about all different things. So I just think it's really cute that he's done that. Um, yes, I'm shattered. We were in town for a jolly long time. We went to, we went for breakfast. Um, one of Charlotte's friends, oh crikey. One of Charlotte's friends' mums owns a cafe on the way into town and they do the best breakfast. So, um, and what's really nice is that we can just kind of like ask them for what we want. So I had like two bacon and eggs and beans and you can just kind of make up um, how you want it. That's not on the menu, we just do that. Um, and yeah, and then we were, ended up going to Marks and Spencer's for a scone. Cause obviously I've been up since like the blooming crack of dawn. Um, and we had breakfast at like nine, half, quarter past nine. So when it got to like 12, we were ready for a, a scone and a cup of tea. I need to sit down, but I'm just gonna show you, not the Primark stuff, but I'm just gonna get out the other bits and pieces that I bought and do a little little bit of a haul. Okay, so little Marks and Spencer's haul first. Um, Tommy asked for some of these biscuits and some of these crisps for his snacks for the hospital bag. I mean, I've just got like nice biscuits and rich tea, but you know, as long as he can have what he wants from Marks and Spencer's. Um, and they were both on two for three pound. So I'm actually doing, now none of you tell him this, or I'll show you what I'm doing. I'll show you what I've got and then I'll tell you what I'm doing. But I'm gonna put basically two of these in his hospital bag and two of them, use them for something else. Um, and then I also got a Victoria sandwich cake, which are in these green boxes at the moment. You can come out. <laughs> She's looking at me like. Oh, having one of my flake yogurts, are we? It's fine like that. They won't get in there. The Mark Spencer's are Macmillan Cancer Supports, like, um, I think they're the official sponsor or like partner for the coffee mornings. So Tom's sister's coming around on Friday. So I've got the Victoria sponge so she can have a slice of cake while she's here. Didn't actually check the dates on these, Charlotte. 22nd of the 9th. When is that? Is it the 19th today? Oh, blind, we're not got long. I thought you might have to talk into that before Friday. Um, and then I also got him some of these. None of you tell me about this either. I think I'm gonna wrap these up for Christmas, put them in his stocking. Um, they are milk and cookies granola, 
Belgian chocolate granola with crushed vanilla cream, filled chocolate cookies, milk and white chocolate chunks and yogurt coated cornflakes. He loves granola, but he's always telling me not to buy it because it's super unhealthy. This definitely fits into that category, but it's like a Christmassy one. So um, I think it, it, I'll get away with it. Um, then I also picked up this. I ordered this with my Boots Points. It's my favorite base to wear at the moment. If I just want something really light, then I wear this on its own. It's the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC um, Cream. If I want something a bit heavier, then I mix it in with a different foundation, but I ordered it. I had like 35 pounds to spend it on with Boots Points and this is 30. So I ordered that to store and picked that up. And then last but not least, um, I also had something to exchange for Tommy in Next. So I bought him this, it's like a plain white shirt with a lot of their stuff has this little stag emblem on now in navy blue. Um, that was £22, which I thought was really reasonable and like he can never have enough just plain white shirts for going out and stuff. Not that we go out very often. And then I also got this little baby sleep suit. So one of Thomas's friends um, bought us this for our baby shower, but he bought it in tiny baby and it was, I think it said it went up to about seven pounds, um, the weight of the baby, obviously. It's from Jasper Conran and it's just like a little really cozy sleep suit, um, not sleep suit, you know, like outer jacket type thing with little ears on. It's so cozy. Um, so I just went and exchanged it basically for a bigger size. I got a three to six months in it. And then I also bought a massive bag of blue and pink fizzy bottles because I've still got loads of sweets left from the baby shower, but I didn't have any of these left. And these are one of my favorites and I wanna pack them in my hospital bag as well. I am gonna go and entertain my guest who isn't really a guest because she's just part of the furniture now, isn't she really? I'm gonna go have a wee, get a drink, get a snack, and then, you know, taxi this one around all afternoon basically. So it is five o'clock and Tommy is working late tonight and I am about to make a chili in the slow cooker. I wanted to start a bit earlier, I didn't realize obviously that like Lottie's car would take that long and the day's just kind of like run away with me really. Um, it's getting to that point where I'm gonna have to start wearing slippers inside again. It's so cold, the tiles in here are freezing. Um, I've got in, taken my jacket off, whipped my bra off and I'm about to start cooking. So I need to get the slow cooker out. Um, I just wanted to show you what I was making. I am doing some batch cooking. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I mentioned this um, anyway. But I um, basically have made a cottage pie and a spaghetti bolognese so far so that we've got stuff in the freezer so that when baby's here, we've got meals. And I know it's like super, super organized and it's a bit ridiculous, but because I am really properly nesting now and the house is done, there's nothing else for me to do. So apart from baking and cooking, and I'm really enjoying it. So I have done those two. I want to make a chicken tikka as well, which I'm gonna to do tomorrow. I was planning on having some of this for my tea tonight, but it takes about five hours in the slow cooker. So it's not gonna be ready till about 10 o'clock at night, so that's not gonna happen. Um, but I'm using this cookbook that I bought Tommy for his birthday, which I think I showed you. Um, it's called the Healthy Slow Cooker Cookbook. This is the first thing that I'll have cooked out of it. So basically it tells you the recipe down the side and then it gives you all the instructions. So, hold on a second, what is ringing me? She honestly just gets like funnier and funnier the older she gets, I swear. Anyway, so it basically tells you in this cookbook um, how to start off. So you start it in a pan, um, you kind of like saute the garlic, the pepper, the mushrooms. I'm not actually putting mushrooms in it because I don't really like the texture of mushrooms. Um, so I'm leaving them out, but I'm, everything else is going in. Um, and you just kind of like fry it a little bit and then you add everything. And then once you've done that, you pop it in the slow cooker for five to six hours. My chili is in the slow cooker and it smells incredible. It's not looking very like chili color at the moment, I don't think. I think it normally isn't it a bit redder. I don't know, it looks pretty good, um, but it smells incredible. So in all the excitement, I realized I hadn't actually uploaded this um, today's video even that I was up editing this morning at like 7 a.m. Um, so I've just done all the links for that. So it's a Zara Baby clothing haul if any of you fancy it. Um, I am so happy with the stuff that I bought, so hopefully you will quite enjoy it too. Now I realise it's not Top Mark's presentation, but I'm having salmon, potato and peas for tea. I probably won't eat all of this, um, that's the only potato I had left, it's a, quite big for me really. I literally put this in the oven for like 12 minutes, 15 minutes on 200 and just sprinkle some of this over the top. It's this sea salt and luxury pepper from 
the Cornish Sea Salt Company. We need some more, we're running out and it's so nice. Um, and that's literally what I've got for my tea. Good morning, I thought I would film today. It's Thursday and I need to like stop thinking it's acceptable to put my face on the internet looking like this. I've got some like housework to do this morning and um, I've got some like little bits to do today that I thought you might I know I really like watching like homey vlogs so I just thought I'm here I'm at home so I'm just going to film what I'm doing in my day. I'm having the most basic of lunches today. I'm having some of these, like a couple of these bacon medallions, um, some baked beans, uh, a fried egg, although I don't actually cook it in fat, I just pop it in the pan after I've put the bacon on and I don't have the yolk because A, I don't like egg yolks and B, um, they're the part, if I was going to have it scrambled I would but in a fried egg I don't and that's the part with the most cholesterol and obviously with like my gallbladder problems, gallstones etc cholesterol is like something I need to avoid really so and I'm going to have one of the little Warburton slices of toast too. It was a little bit later and I know this bowl doesn't look very appetising but I've just mixed together two cloves of garlic, an onion uh, finely chopped, a teaspoon of turmeric, 400 grams of Greek yoghurt, half a lime, uh, the zest and the juice. I've popped a little bit of chilli in, three to four tablespoons of tikka paste. I've just got to add four diced chicken breasts and then marinate this for about an hour. You can leave it for as long as you want, but I'm gonna leave it for maybe a couple of hours. Then you pop it in the slow cooker on high for three to four hours and it's ready. Chicken tikka masala. I'm using the same slow cooker book. Um, and what I really like about this one is that you just mix it all in a bowl and then you pop it in the slow cooker. The one yesterday, although it was really, really easy, you had to start off in the pan first. So a little bit of an easier one today. Good afternoon, it is Sunday today and I thought I'd vlog kind of a little bit today just to kind of finish this video off because I think I've only filmed on a couple of days and they're going to be a bit higgledy-piggledy from here on onwards because obviously I'm not really sure what I'm doing day to day. I'm very much enjoying being at home, I feel very safe and comfortable here and I'm aware that this baby could arrive at any point and um, being at home for me is kind of a safe option. I just filmed a Primark haul. Look at the absolute carnage that has unraveled in the dining room. Um, I'm gonna sort all of this out when I get back. My sister is actually on her way to come and pick me up. We are off to HomeSense. Um, I really, really just fancy going and looking at the autumn candles and any like autumn stuff that they've got in at the moment. Um, I just really fancy going having a meet. It's a little bit later, it's about mm, 10 past three now. I didn't film anything in home sense. My mum's in the back somewhere. Um, God, I look like a big egg. Um, it was chaos in there. There's a reason why I've never been to home sense on a Sunday before, um, but we got some good buys. I'm quite happy with what, what I got, so I'll show you when I get home. Lottie's just nipped into Aldi to get some chicken, um, and then we're going for some lunch before we head home. Who's barking at me? He's barking. Hello. I've been out a really long time. I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, Jasper. Jasper's got a poorly back. Oh. <laughs> Nearly got a poorly chin then. Go on then. Go on. Oh. <laughs> I don't know what he's barking at. What are you doing? <laughs> I'll just feed them and then I'll go through the home sense stuff that I've got. I'm gonna grab my home sense stuff. I'm gonna set you up here. Excuse all of this mess. We've got like hospital bags, Primark junk that I'd filmed this morning. I'm gonna go and get my home sense stuff. I need to show you before Tommy gets home. I have no idea how this happened, guys. I was going for candles. I got candles. 
but I managed to find everything else as well. Okay, okay, that's no Evie. Great angle this is. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold you while I show you the first thing and then I'll balance the camera on this first thing so you can actually see me. This was 12 99 but this is a beast. Um, they have all their awesome candles in at the moment. This is the Tobacco and Vanilla Sensational um, Natural Soy Candle. Candle. And um, yeah, so I got that 12 99 but it smells so gorgeous. Tobacco and Vanilla are like my favorite scents at this time of year. They just smell really kind of like sophisticated but like homely and warm. Um, I'm gonna try and stand you up on here so these are 12.99 rrp 33 pound and you get three knives in here now i look at these every time i go into home sense um they are black and rose gold and you basically just get three different sizes and i also bought some hair turbans so you got you get two in here for eight pounds or 7.99 you get a black and a white one and i've had one from soap and glory for years and it's so gross i obviously wash it but it's really in need of replacing and I saw those. Um, Estée Lalonde mentioned one in her video the other day on Space NK and I don't think she'd ever heard of them before. And She was like amazed at the, you know, the aspect of them, I suppose. And I've used them for years. The one that she bought was 33 pound for one. I'm not about that. Um, so mine were four pound each. Um, if you miss me, I've got pooches all around me here. Um, okay, let's whiz through this. I bought a coffee bean hydrogel mask. This was 2 dollars I just normally, if I see these, I pick like one up at a time. It's the OK brand. Um, I think they're Japanese brand. Um, oh no, Korean. And um, yeah, it was the caffeine bit that really appealed to me. Um, I'd do anything to look more awake. And I think that's gonna be necessary when baby's here too. Um, okay, let's see what I can pull out now. I've got a couple of candles here, I think. That's too heavy. I'll get this one first. Um, one's leaked or it's got stuff all over it. Why has that happened? Look. The girl in there really actually wound me up because she was really not very good whatsoever. She put so much stuff in this bag, I couldn't, I had to carry everything separately anyway. Um, and she was just really rude and didn't wrap anything even though I asked it to be wrapped and I don't know whether this is cracked or if it's another candle it's oh I think the lid's come off another candle so it might have just got smushed in it which is annoying but that will be the best case scenario anyway this one is by the brand DW Home um that other one I can't tell you what the brand was but this was 5 99 and this is warm sandalwood and the top of it's really cute it's got like a north west north east west south thing on it and it's one of the ones that has like the crackly thing in it which tom really loved i was like is there any candle you'd like and he was like one that makes a noise because he says it's like really cozy um i'm covered in candle wax next i have a blanket which was 16.99 which i thought was so reasonable and it's kind of like that really soft fleece material that I know the dogs are going to love but I got this for Tommy really and um, this was 16.99 and I think I don't know whether I'm going to put this in I'm doing did I mention his dad basket that I'm getting I don't know if I did actually talk to you about that but I'm gonna to have to hide this if he comes back any second I'll just show it you and then I can put it back in the bag so um basically it's like this it's gray and um, kind of like an off-white color um, and it's got like two different sides to it so it's kind of like a you know reverse ball and then it's got little tassels I just thought for 16.99 and he at the moment is kept saying because we have one blanket permanently we have two blankets on the sofas but one is like a knitted one that we don't use because the dogs pull it so it's there more for like decoration if you will he keeps asking um because we have like the gray starry one that I always have that you'll see on my insta stories um we have that one on the sofa and that's like a cozy blanket that we can use and he keeps asking me for another one that he can use um because he just likes getting snuggly on the sofa as well who doesn't 
and um, and we don't have one so i thought i'd get him that one so then he's got like his own cuddly blanket yeah it's just that other candle is just like digged into this one which is really annoying but this candle this is by woodland groove and it's a vanilla and smoked wood candle um, and this was 9.99 so kind of like three price points there but obviously it's massive i mean it's got a massive dent out of it now because it's on the bottom of that candle but this is another crackly wood one and it's just like a gorgeous like warm um wintery scent and then i got the dogs because they had them by the tail these were 1.99 and these are pork and apple gourmet treats with 100 percent real pork and apple in them so they're natural and low in fat so i got some of those um then i got two of these bowls so they're like pasta bowls and um, we have quite big pasta bowls but we don't really have any that are just like a nice normal size we have some and we use them all the time and um, so i thought i'd get another couple and i just got two of these these were 3.99 each and i also got a couple more of the denby side plates so i have a couple of these that are like green with like a brown outer and i basically eat every meal off them because they're the perfect size for me because obviously i don't use a full dinner plate if i'm not using a bowl um, and because they come up at the side of it if you can see that they're a little bit ridged it means if i have anything with a sauce on it and um, like if i have beans or anything like that it doesn't just like fall off the end of the side plate which i know would very rarely happen but i just i really like eating off these because it makes me feel like i'm eating off a proper plate rather than just a side plate if that makes sense um these were 5.99 each obviously they're denby so um these should have been 12 pounds each for one side plate they are like navy blue and cream speckly and i just thought they were really nice and a little bit different um, and i kind of like having like all mix and matchy plates and cups and stuff i don't really like everything to be in sets i used to be like that but not anymore i'm gonna love you, love you and leave you there i know this is a bit random um video this week i don't know how much i've got to edit but i hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless i hope you've all had really really good week and um i've got this primark haul coming up this week that i filmed today i'm gonna pop, pop that up it probably will be wednesday's video um and then i'm gonna have a day this week of just like bulk filming videos so that i've got some for after he's here if i need to put any up or just that i've got them to film because i've got like i need to film what's in my hospital bag and stuff like that which they're actually all downstairs now which is a little bit scary oh i just wanted to quickly mention the dad basket that i'm doing for tommy i've got like a hamper basket and i'm filling it with stuff like his favorite things and i've bought some like baby books i've bought we're going on a bear hunt each peach pear plum and uh guess how much i love you in like a in board books and then i'm gonna pop that blanket and i was gonna get him some pajamas but i can't really find any that i like and we always buy pajamas for each other for christmas eve so i'm just gonna wait and do that then but i'll pop that blanket in there for him i've got his favorite and um, he loves haribo cherry so i bought him like a massive box of them i have bought him some coffee um i've bought him some of his favorite biscuits and i'm just gonna put it all together and give it him when baby's here as like a present from us both to him like it's just like stupid stuff i know but i just feel like he's been so amazing throughout this pregnancy and it is kind of, i do feel like it has all been kind of centered around me because obviously i'm the one carrying the baby but he has been there for every appointment he has been there every time i've needed to ring him when i've cried when i've laughed when i've had a stupid story to tell him that it's not going to make an ounce of difference to his day and i just want to do i don't want to buy him anything big I don't, we're having a baby that's like the best i know it sounds so cheesy but it's like the best present of all and that's you know we we knew what the last nine months were going to be like ish no tinks um but i just wanted to get him something to show like a little token of how much we've really appreciated him and i just thought it'd be really nice um and it's the kind of thing that he would do um so i'm gonna pop that blanket in there and he'll have to wait a few more weeks to be extra snuggly on the sofa but i think he'll appreciate it when when he does open it um, i'm gonna sort out this candle mess now and actually go and um love you and leave you so thank you for watching